Mitch, what are you doing? What am I doing? Oh, I'm just exercising, you know. Oh, so you're working out? Yeah. Oh, cool. Did you say you're working out the amazing prices at M&M Games? Yes. That is really awful. Stu, on to you. Yeah. Oh, yes, here we are. This is our 300 subscriber special. Thank you to everyone. We really appreciate all the support. And so we thought we'd just put a little bit of Survivor and Eye of the Tiger. And we had a lot of requests from people in our comments. They wanted to see Dimitri do push-ups. There was yeah. actually just one gentleman that kept on kept saying, kept asking, like kept different asking, names, like put number one. Yeah, he kept really on wanting wanted to see Dimitri do push-ups. Anyway, back to the retro games. Back, back to, to the retro, retro games. games. First off, we got a little gem here from Russia, the Dendi. Now this isn't, you know, our usual. Let's make up a story here. This is actually a Japanese console based on the Famicom called the Dendi. Okay, so that comes with all of these games, including Super Mario 10, Super Mario 14, Super Mario 9, and Super Mario 10. Okay, some real classics there. Personal and that one's not even got a label on it. Mortal Kombat 4 with all the Dark Souls characters. That's <laughs> yeah. the best. Mortal Kombat 4, well, it's with Contra 6. Um, I've got two here and three. Mortal Kombat Five with Serious Sam on it. Aladdin Three. Can't and wait. I love that film. Okay, so moving on, some Saturn gems here. F1 Challenge made by Sega. X Men, Children of the Atom. WWF in your house. And if you look on the back, this is actually made with a Mortal Kombat engine, but with the wrestling characters. Also, if you buy it, it will actually be in your house. Yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Earthworm Jim, uh, sequel to Earthworm Jim 1, Earthworm Jim 2, yeah. Okay, real classic here, Shining Wisdom. You want this, don't you, Dan? I'm actually gagging for Shining Wisdom, mate. You're, you're gagging for I am, um, pretty much, someone has to hold me back from buying myself. Right, there we go, Shining Wisdom. Oh, actually, for the collectors, it's got all of the bits and bobs in there as well and the disc is in pretty good condition gagging for it. <laughs> Japanese version of Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles there you go complete with the little baggy and the lead. Game Boy Link Game Boy Link yeah, lead for, Game Boys. for the Game Boy yeah. so you can play that and uh, with the Game Boy great and we've got some awesome um, GameCube games here Metroid Prime Echoes Metroid Prime, Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut, Prince of Persia, The Two Thrones, Tales of Symphonia, no instructions though, Mario Kart Double Dash, Star Wars uh, Jedi Outcast, Soul Calibur 2, Soul Calibri, Soul Calibri, sequel to Calibri on the uh, 30X, Super Smash Bros. Uh, Melee, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, what the hell? Um, the Force Home Kingdom, never heard of, never heard of Yu-Gi-Oh, yeah, never heard of that. that is. Don't know. And we've got some PS2 games there. Yep, we got uh, Kingdom Hearts One. Yeah, so you know Kingdom Hearts Three is coming out. This is Kingdom Hearts One. If you want to get up on the storyline, if you've ever played Kingdom Hearts, you will never get up on the storyline. That storyline is crazy. Is it crazy? It right. Is mental. Kingdom Hearts Two. Next up. Fire Emblem, there, a bit more sort of current gen, but people like the Fire Emblems. Okay, next, now. we're going to go through these quite quickly. Crash XS on the Game Boy Advance. Fire Emblem there on the Game Boy Advance. Uh, Metroid Fusion. Sonic 3. Yoshi's Island. Rayman 3. Another Yu Gi Oh! game. Uh, a Mario RPG there. Mario Luigi's Superstar Saga. Another Yu-Gi-Oh game, uh, Pokemon, the trading card game. You mean Pokemon? Pokemon. Yeah, Pokemon. We got another Pokemon, po Pokemon Gold. Yeah. Kirby's Dream Land. Super Mario Land 2. Uh, game and Watch Gallery. Kirby's Dream Land again, and Doctor Frankenstein. Now, if you actually have a Famicom. You can get the uh, Super Game Boy 2, which I've never heard of before. You know, I've, I've, I've never heard of that. I didn't actually know it was a thing that existed, but it looks really nice. And apparently, it's a multiplayer. You... Multi. So you can actually do two player between your Super Famicom and your friend next door who's also got a Super Famicom. Or a Game Boy, if you don't want to get two Super Famicoms. Oh, actually, that's a good point. Yeah. Be the you can play, it with, play it with your Game Boy, 
and so you play Pokemons, one on the big screen, one not, but I've never seen one before, Dan's never seen one before, and we've, between us, we've both been around a long time. I think um, Stuart's been around a bit more than I have, if you know what I'm saying. What, what, what are you saying, Dan? Nice right. see through. What? It's nice and see through. Yeah. Dimitri's yeah. got a comment. What? It's see through. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta pick that up. Come on, give it to me. Yeah, he likes to see through. If you buy it, you get a picture of Dimitri with it. You get yeah. a photo of Dimitri. Yeah, you get an autograph picture, man. Who? Who doesn't want a picture of this? Done. Yeah, that is honestly. Yeah. That's enough. Put it back. Shot me. And, and it's yeah, shot me. Yeah, there you go. Right now we've got absolutely shed loads of um, Super Famicom games boxed in absolutely great condition. So we don't really know the names of all of them. Um, we're going to give it a try though. We're going to give it a go. We will, why not? We'll definitely try and name them for you. What, why not? Them. Okay, so we've got in, uh, in Invasion and... Li it's literally got the name right there in English. It's Ruins of Illusion. Ruins of Illusion. No. Don't okay. know that. Right. Ruins of Illusion. I've no idea what that is in, in English. Can't, can't work that one out. So, this buy, is, uh, buy it at your risk. This is Horseman. <laughs> which is, uh, he's actually from... Super this is the game where you go around. You have to cut the horse's heads off, don't you? Well, really violently. Yeah, you've got to make burgers out of them. You have to throw horseshoes at their heads. Wow, that is yeah. awful. That's that, that's that <laughs> game. <laughs> Completely no. violent. This is... Uh, NBA Jam, which is Japanese <laughs> for NBA Jam. Yeah, that was probably quite close. That was a really good version of the Japanese name. Yeah, Bing Park. Bing Park. Park. <laughs> Human Grand Prix 2. <laughs> so, so it's a bit like the horse one, but yeah, you were. Uh, it's just a load of men horse. running around the racetrack. <laughs> Takes hours. Uh, now, this one here is. Uh, a story. It sounds there's a well, sound, it's a sound novel. novel, and it's called Otogirisu. And it's a whole lot of text. I, I don't know. I, a lot of text. I don't know what's going on there. I don't know. That's, that's some flowers. Yeah. And you know what it is? It's just a prequel to Flower, which is a great game. Probably. Yeah, prequel. if you're into flowers. Not good flower. yeah. That's where you saw the idea from. Front mission. Sequel to back mission? Yeah. Have you ever had a back mission? I uh, have not, actually. No. It's very rare. Demetrius had lots of back missions. Nah, let's move on. <laughs> move on. Darby <laughs> Stallion! Hey. That, is, that was my nickname at school. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> this is a uh, Taitoku no Ketsudan. As you can tell, my Japanese is flawless. Uh, this looks like it's a boat simulator. Naval. Some kind of war. Some kind of naval war simulator. Yeah. It's probably great if you're into. Um, Submarines and boats. Yeah. And, yeah. If you like submarines, if you're a fan of submarines, there are actually no submarines in the box. There. Power monger. Power monger. If you're a fan of submarines, uh, no baseball. Baseball. Super Famitsu. Is that baseball? Yeah, it's got baseball fields on. Cracking. Fat. Super Famitsu. Baseball. Yeah, great. This is a uh, fishing to bassing. <laughs> Fishing which is bassing. which is it's uh which where you evolve from fishing and then to, to playing a bass guitar. Playing a bass guitar, you actually are a fish who loves to play the bass guitar. <laughs> Bring it's it a on. great RPG. <laughs> Speaking of RPGs, we've got a game that's literally called RPG. Um, Super Sp Dante. Super Dante, yeah. Which is. I don't know, it looks really cute. I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, all in Japanese. Uh, we've got Dino Wars. Kyoru oh my Is that God. like Pokemon? <laughs> No, it looks like a platformer. It's a platformer. It looks lovely. I mean, this is the kind of stuff I really liked, like back when I first started gaming. Like, it's really nice, colourful, uh, anime styled, like platformers and things. It, I love this stuff. So, uh, do you think people might comment on our video that we're not really that prepared with these Japanese games? What are you talking about, mate? I can read that. You can't you read that? Dino That's... Wars. Yeah. Yeah. Moving on. <laughs> Syndicate. Right. Syndicate. Brandish. Brandish. Yeah. Brandish. Jesus. What is going on in this box? Oh, I mean, I know it's Gundam, I think. But Wait, what? No, it's not. It's Battle, Battle Robot Red Suden with yeah. the most Gundam convoluted looking box I've ever seen. Yeah, not a rip off of Gundam at all. No, it looks like it's got Gundam in there, Dimitri. You, you there we have a uh, news flash. It's a rip off of Gundam. That's what Dimitri, from Dimitri. Says. That's what Dimitri. That's what he says. Yeah. And what right. he says goes. I don't know what, what this is. This is some kind of. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like RPG. some sort of battle fighter. So, yeah, I don't know what that is. Mario Brothers? Mario. I don't know, Luigi. <laughs> uh, classic, Final Pokemon. Fantasy uh, yeah. 6. Now, of course it's in Japanese, but if you want the original case with uh, you know, the original 6, not I 3. I think a lot of people just buy that for the artwork. I, I would. I've got yeah. both of this. It's fantastic. Of course, moving on to Final Fantasy 5. It's got a big chicken. Uh, less impressive artwork, but you know, still a great game. With a, with a chicken? Not a chicken. What is it then? Uh, it's a Chocobo. Okay. Kick-off cool. 1994. 
which is about yeah. the submarines. No, it's exciting stuff. So, okay. Uh, Romancing Saga 2. We've actually got number 3. We do. Oh, that's in the pile here. And we've got number 1, I think, as well. So you can actually get here, get Romancing Saga 1, uh, 2, and 3. I can't find 3, but it's probably in here somewhere. And I think also to know, Wait, all these games come in these really hard hardware in cases as well. They look so, great. You can stack them lovely if that's how you want yeah, to Yeah, exactly. Stuff. So they actually if you want to look after your games, it could be a good note if you're a real collector, get these because they're great for storing your games. Super Bombless? It's like Tetris. Is it? But with bombs, like Tetris with bombs. It's like nothing like Tetris. It is! Oh, that's what the guy told me. This is definitely look, my kind of game. Does that not look like Tetris? I don't want to have an argument here, Dan. Guys, if you think it looks like Tetris, let us know in the comments. It doesn't look like Tetris. It's rubbish. Anyway, moving on. Super UFO Man. I don't know Uf what you it's, 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 it's what comment. is happening. Dimitri, what is happening in this box art? Uh, it looks like a superhero with a steak and kidney pie on his head. Right. There you go. If you like steak and kidney pies... And superheroes. It's the game for you. <laughs> yeah, moving on. Golf. Golf. WrestleMania. Super WrestleMania. Uh, Ultraman. Awesome. And with Pacific Ring coming out, which is like a great movie, relive your uh, giant robot punching with Fantasies. Ultraman. F-Zero, F-Zero, King of Masters, uh, two. two, now these ones are unboxed, of course, um, auto Famicom game, but uh, you know, still good, still nice. Tiny Toons, Kirby, The Lord of Elemental, three, probably, three, Lord of Elemental three, no, three minutes. Three minutes? We'll be going on longer than that, surely, Malcolm. <laughs> three minutes? We have ten, surely? Is that, was that your three minutes code? Three minutes. Yeah, that's, that's the code, that's the code. Is that, oh, right, is that the code? code? Three minutes. <laughs> three minutes. <laughs> okay, there might be a cut in the second line. <laughs> it will be seamless. <laughs> you will never see it coming. You'll, you'll never see it come, coming. Bam, look Are we rolling again? Yeah. yeah. I don't know right. why we couldn't put oh. Jewish in a chicken soup this time. I thought we were... Wait, are we rolling? Yeah. Right, moving on. Bahamut Lagoon. I said it right. Final Fantasy VI. Six. Final Fantasy VI. Something to sort of two. <laughs> what? What is that? This is in English. It must be an RPG. Secret, secret Manor, square. guys. It's Secret Manor. Never um, heard of that. Psychoden Setsu? Psychoden, yeah, that's it. Secret Manor. We had that yesterday, but we sold it. Lovely. Mystic Quest RPG. Yeah, go on. Um, Yoshi with Mario and Pizza. That's it. Yoshi Great. Mario and Pizza. Really? Is she, look, it's got Yoshi Mario and Pizza. Yoshi's Cookie. <laughs> <laughs> of it. Now here we go. The first romance in Saga. So we got two and three in there. This is the first one. So if you want to play them all, find out the whole story in uh, Japanese. In Japanese. <laughs> um, Brandish. We got that boxed as well, and unboxed. Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem. Yeah, bloody Fire Emblem. It's awesome. Well, I think you could actually play that without knowing Japanese. Yeah, it's just a, it's an RPG but it's tactical, so you're okay. Yeah. Gun Hazard. Front Mission, Gun Hazard. Sequel to Back Mission. Safe Guns. Safe Guns. <laughs> uh, stay safe. Back Mission. Um, <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Megalomania. Oh, it does say it. Do you want me to just read them for you, Steve? I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> Super Bomberman 2. I can read that one tomorrow. Um, Ghouls and Ghosts. The good thing about the Bomberman games is they actually had English um, menus. So if you do pick it up with an adapter, you're still good to go. Not easy to translate Bomberman. I mean, come on. It's not, it's not Bomberman. No, what is this one? Mario something. Mario Picross. Picross. Samuel anyway, um, Fatal Fate Fury, is it? That's some my showdown. That is Samurai Showdown. In English. <laughs> that's that's same, Japanese one. That's the same. Oh my god. That's Japanese, look. Right, hang on, hang on. Fatal Fury Special. Fatal Fury Special. That's what I say. Oh. <laughs> Point for me. Oh, oh, I just waited to see how, more, how, how much agonising that would be. Oh, uh, <laughs> much, that much. one, that game. Player Pop. Player Pop. Okay, now a little few UK games here Super Mario 64, WCW versus NWO World Tour. 
WrestleMania 2000. Yoshi Story. I'm good at the English ones. You've also got, going back to the Famicom stuff, you've got uh, the Dragon Quest series, but uh, these have unfortunately already been um, pre ordered. So if you would actually like anything ordered from us, you can actually order online and via our phone number as well, which is all going to be down below there somewhere. Yeah, yeah. But as it's our 300 subscriber special, we asked everyone on our Facebook group. Um, to, for some questions for us. So um, I'll read out the questions and Dan's um, will attempt to answer them with my assistance. Is that alright Dan? I'm, I'm throwing that at you now. Oh man. I'm okay. Ready. The first question was from Toby Larone. Um, if you're allowed one console with 10 games for the rest of your life, which console and games would it be? Time considering, shall we just say three games? Well, the rest of my life isn't going to be that long, so let's go for it. Yeah, uh, so what one console would you have? Super Nintendo. Yeah. Super Mario World, Secret Mana, Final Fantasy V. Well, I'd, I'd reckon I, I, something that takes a long time. Something like um, a Pokemon game, so let's say on a DS. Oh, yeah. Pokemon game, something like one of the Advance Wars. I loved Advance Wars, I'd have that. And ooh, there was Settlers 2 on that. Was on that on the DS? It was on the DS. Yeah. It was just called Settlers, but it was Settlers 2. Okay, next question <laughs> from Al Dente. By the uh, way, we're sorry if you get your names wrong or mispronounce them or just straight up don't use your name at all. We're sorry. Yeah. But we don't but, care. But these were the honest questions. Uh, of all the amazing mech based games you have in, which is your favourite? Uh, of all the mech based games we've got, it's got to be Sonic R. That was Sonic. my favourite mech game from last week. Uh, mine's uh, Cr Chrono, no, Chrono Trigger on the uh, Xbox. That's the only one I think I've ever played. Yeah. I'm not a big <laughs> mech I couldn't really get that hang on the controls on that. Okay, next question from Kitty Litter. What is your, what video game or console that you own are you most proud of owning due to its rareness or significance it has to you as a gamer? Um, oh man. I've got an Astro Boy Game Boy, which is really nice, and that's probably my proudest one, yeah. mainly because I uh, had to argue it down from the guy who didn't want to sell it. So, right. I killed a man for a Game Boy. Um, the, the proudest one I I'm have is one of my Japanese uh, Sega Saturn, because it's, it's a Japanese Sega Saturn, I just like having it. And, oh, uh, wait, can I change my actually? I've got a, I've got a um, see-through pink Sakura Wars Dreamcast. Oh. Which I found, I was in um, I was in Japan, and I found it... Oh, we had the Japan, Japan stories again. Well, well I, I was, was in Japan! Well, I was in Japan, uh, yeah. I remember well, I was well. hanging out super potato. Yeah, you know, the, uh, the boxes <laughs> were falling in. No, I, I got it, you know, so yeah. it was great. It was a great find for me, I felt really good. Okay, next question from Jimmy Riddle. <laughs> what? Are there, are there any games that you absolutely love that reviewers or other people absolutely or utterly panned? Games like Nia, God Hand, Deadly Premonition, etc. I did really like God Hand. I thought it was great fun. I don't mm. really understand even why people didn't like it. What did you want from it? It was going to be punching people for fun, and you got punched people and it was fun. Um, I'll have to think about that one though. What about you, sir? Uh, I don't know. What's on? I really enjoy. To be fair, I don't you have really. tapes, I've, 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 that could be any game, really. Well, there's some choice in that, I'll be yeah. honest with you. Um, I can't really think of anything. I used to just go, go on Metacritic and just see what's above 95% and that's what I use. Wow, that is. <laughs> that, you know, that's it, you know. If it says FIFA on it, that's why I'll, I'll buy it. Oh, let's just move on. Oh my God. Um, okay, next question <laughs> from Dick Brain. What is the airspeed <laughs> velocity of an unladen swallow? Dan? Seven. Seven? I was going to have eight. It depends if it's an African or European swallow, to be fair. Yeah. Right, uh, from Ivor Longbottom. What about? I'm sorry. What is your hard? What is the hardest boss to defeat in video games? Uh, recently, Sephiroth in Kingdom Hearts One. That was a beast. I'm actually going to say, on Crisis Core, I can't complete it, and, and it was just, I think it was Sephiroth. So I was on a bridge and I couldn't do it. There you go. So that, that wasn't at the, the end of the game. So Maybe I got everywhere. I actually thought Ozma from Final Fantasy Nine was a complete dick. 
It's a complete date. Whoa, whoa! It means it's, hey. it's a family show. It's family, a family, family show. show. Like, whoa! Hey, I'm that like rogue guy. I have a long box and not want to hear your stats. <laughs> okay, right. This is a family show. Let's keep it clean. Next question is from Dick Handler. <laughs> <laughs> How many hours per day do you play video games? Um, I'm all about portable uh, stuff, so uh, maybe four, four hours a day. I think I'll probably do a good couple of hours in, yeah. in, in the evening. How long do you think you can go for, like in one stretch? In one stretch, I think I'll, I could push for three hours. Push for three hours before I have to. Uh, Take a break. Have a breather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. it's not Something bad. Like that. It's not bad. Yeah, that's to you, recharge the batteries. Yeah, do you find that you um, you know, like get a bit of cramp after a while? In the yeah, wrist? in the wrist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, I've heard of that. Yeah, from other people. Next question, from huge swelling. You even say it right. <laughs> That'd be like huge swelling or huge swelling or something. <laughs> from Hugh Swelling, <laughs> if you could dress up as any female character for cosplay, what? <laughs> who would it be and why? Amy Rose, because uh, I don't know. Well, I'll be Chun Li, obviously, right. obvious reasons. Yeah. Uh, another. No, wait, sorry, what other reasons? Quite pretty, isn't she? I think I've got the legs for it. Great, <laughs> <Hey>, cool. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. The most craziest moment you've ever had in a game. Um, for the first time I played Fantasy Star Online on the Dreamcast, uh, just blown away, you know, online play, racking up my phone bill, but it was worth it, great, great game, and I was just, yeah, blown away by Fantasy Star, that's it. Okay, uh, mine has to be on Bejeweled, I wanted to, I wanted to move, and I got over 100,000 points in one game, and the screen was literally flashing for about 7 seconds, with just Jewels going everywhere, it was phenomenal. Well done. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, Demetrius has got an answer. What's yours? Uh, come, come uh, my friend actually gave me, um, he sent me through Infrared, yes, it still exists and it's still used nowadays, but he sent me um, Pokemon Crystal on to use on my phone. And I was using it, I Wait, was whoa, like, whoa, 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 hey, whoa. Hey. I was emulation pipes. Emulation? Yeah. Emulation? Let's move on because emulation. We, we, we don't want to hear about it that. It crashed on me. It crashed. Yeah, see, emulation doesn't work, yeah. kids. Yeah. So emulation's bad. Pirate. Right, okay. Next question from Collie Flower. <laughs> We could just use their real names. These are all bad. <laughs> what is the worst thing you've ever played and why? Um, Doki Doki Panic. Because, I don't know, it was crap. <laughs> Basically. Quantum of Solace. Um, or Quantum of Solace. On the uh, Xbox. Yeah. yeah. Not very no, I remember playing it because like, I wanted to play the original, what was originally Super Mario Bros. 2. And just without the charm, it was just awful. Yeah. Oh, so that's the one, the Japanese one? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it might be on those Famicom cartridges. Okay. Yeah, it might be. Okay, from Daily uh, Boner, <laughs> what is the one thing gaming related that you wish you could own, but you'll never be able to afford? Um, I can never find an original Panzergoon Auto Xbox, the white one with the lines down. Oh, I'd love to have that. Yeah, that'd be really nice. I don't even know where I'd find one now, but if I found one, I'd probably need to afford it. So, there you go. Yeah, uh, for me, oh god, a Simpsons Xbox 360? Was the yellow ones? Yeah, yellow ones. They're, yeah. quite, they're quite easy to find. I don't know, I've, one never, one. I've never seen one, but I imagine it would probably be quite dear. Yeah, I, I wouldn't mind getting a Panasonic Q, but we've had those in the shop, and uh, I'll probably could afford that. Yeah. But, you know, but I do no. want one, that's the thing I really would like to have. The Panasonic Q, so if anyone has a Panasonic Q, please give it to us. Or a Sega Saturn. Please, we need that. What was the name yeah. of that, um, that, I think it was that Nintendo game, the family sports game? That's not, that's not a console. Oh, like, no, console, that, but I mean like, yeah. like gaming-wise. Yeah, that's a quite game. a rare thing to Extremely find. Yeah, yeah. That, that's it, that's what I want. Okay guys, so thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed our 300 subscriber special. Yep. And I'm just going to go to the outro music. So please like, share, subscribe. <laughs> And uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah, don't forget you can find us on Facebook at uh, Eminem Games Croydon, on Twitter at, at Man Games, Games for Your Man, and um, you can also keep an eye on our new podcast, which we'll be showing on the uh, on the Facebook page, the uh, YouTube page, YouTube where you page, are, yeah. where you are now. Eminem Games is located at Grant's Arcade in Croydon High Street.